the way a manner Safu Mahfouz's son was appointed. Nobody is talking about it. And yet he is there for the first time in the history of this country. This is the only snit boss who has been able to come out to hold a press conference trying to explain why they have to sell shares in these four hotels. Does it make sense? It doesn't. So don't they have any PRO? Don't they have people who can talk on their behalf? Does he have to take the SNIT boss himself to come around and explain to Ghanaians? That should tell you what is inside that deal. And for some of us, we have said that, look, even going on strike is not enough. We need to make sure that the board is dissolved. Mm -hmm. The management, <laughs> which is being headed by Osapo Mafo's son, mm -hmm. should be removed. Absolutely. Entirely should be removed. And, and going bring new people. And bring new people they also who are come competent. And, they also come people and, and who are same, competent. And do the same thing. You see, sometimes. Because we've always had issues with management, like you so, said, even leadership. You see, that is why I'm saying that when we kick them off, those coming, Who's coming? We'll learn from that. We'll learn. Has that always been th that, that case? Do, do we have people learning from people? Oh, people learn, we, unless, of course, unless, positions. of course, you are always wearing a political lens. And that is where you think that you don't want to learn. If you are a normal human being and you don't want to accept and learn, then I don't know what sort of human being you are. Mm. Maybe you may be coming from a different planet. But so far as we are on planet Earth, whatever past mistakes, we build upon it. There's a saying that you cannot start from where you started, but you can be in the middle and finish hard and finish perfectly. So sometimes when you appoint people into positions and the way and manner they behave, you kick them out. It is only in this country that when people are found guilty of certain things, they don't want to resign. If I were to be the snake boss, I would have resigned because I've failed the people. I have failed the contributors. People. I, are you contribute. not saying this because you're not in the position? <laughs> you see. <laughs> because we also know what happens when you eventually get to positions like that. You, this, this is your first time meeting me. <clears throat> you can ask about me. Mm. I was once the national organizer for PNC. Mm. In 2020, I realized that I have failed. So I resigned. I see. Yes. Because for me, I believe that when you want to serve your people, you have to make sure that they rather benefit from you. Mm. You don't have to benefit from them. Mm. After all, when they were coming into power, they made them believe <coughs> that they are better managers and that when they come to power, they are going to make sure that we, the ordinary citizen, will have everything that we want in this country. But what are we saying? What are we saying? People cannot even afford three square meals a day. People cannot even buy fuel to fuel their cars. And at the end of the day, you get up in the morning and read in the newspapers, a lot of trunk monies have been put in people's houses. And is that what you promised the ordinary citizen? No. Somebody will wake up at dawn, go and queue, just to make sure that he brings you to power. And at the end of the day, look at his reward. Common SNIT funds, you can't manage it. And you are telling us that you are going to sell these hotels. My brother. It is not the best. Mm. Some of us, we will speak against some of these things. And I was surprised when you were asking Honorable about hotels, and he's talking to you about lands. Mm -hmm. I was surprised. People have invested every month contribution. People's monies have been deducted. And they expect that you put those monies into good use. And at the end of the day, this is what you are doing with the money. And they are complaining, and you are here talking about state lands that people are capturing. So you came after all, in, so you came after all, so you don't know what discussed see, earlier. So look, don't no, say that. What, don't say what you are. No, 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 no. I will not sit here. I will not sit here for you to say. Hold on. To say that I am not said. You had your time. You were not here. You were not here when he was talking. I was responding to him. You had your time. No, you have to correct him. You had your time. Yes, you have to correct him. You had your time. Don't worry. So please, don't come and stand here. Don't come and say that issue. I've been asked to talk about Ota. I'm talking about land because you're not here. He even brought the issue of TV. Three. Brought about the issue because he was looking at it is, from a, a, a holistic point of view that there have been sales of different different issues. So 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 which is not good, now, we need to condemn it. We all know. What is not good, <coughs> we need to condemn it. 
There's a saying in our country that Adi Enye, Enye, which you includes understand that other institutions that it have been captured because that's what we are looking at but right now. This is what is on board. Mm. It's is a uh, uh, have anybody contributed to buy TV3? The answer is no. But pensioners, their monies are going down the drain, and we are talking about a private institution. Some exactly. a private institution which was Look bought by Malaysians some years ago, and it has been transferred. If I'm here <laughs> and I've been able to buy somebody's <laughs> private um, um, property, is it for Senate? Is it for the people of Ghana? It's an individual property that I bought. And so we are talking about what Senate is using our monies for. And we keep contributing, even as we speak. At the end of this month, people are still going to contribute. What happens if everybody decides that we are not going to contribute again? Would they be getting money to be paying their managers and what have you? The answer is no. And so sometimes they need to listen to the people. What kind of engagement went on before this issue all came about? You are telling us that you've been able to have stakeholders engagement. But what stakeholders engagement did you have with the people? You say you, uh, the board was represented by the people themselves. So how many which, people which they came and said that how many people that were on the board? didn't do them a, a good service. So so if you have just about 10 to 15 people on board representing over 2 million Ghanaians and you come out and tell us that you've been able to engage properly. That is what happens. That's, that's what happens. So for me it's a bad deal. Okay. And going forward we need true leaders in this nation. We need people who are selfless. We need people who have people at heart, who, who have the ordinary citizen at heart, not people <laughs> who will come out and be speaking anyhow. Mm. These are not the kind of leaders we want in this country. Okay. And very soon, I keep saying, very soon, Ghanaians will appreciate some people who are coming, who are <laughs> going to contest. And when they come, mm. there's going to be a from big the, difference. From the PNC. <laughs> I am telling you, <laughs> very soon, people will appreciate mm. the kind of Ghanaians who will come out to rule this nation. And those people won't come from NBC or NMPP? No, That's not at what all. You're saying. Not at from all. From the PNC? Not at all. We are coming. Yes. PNC is coming. <laughs> and just watch out for the one who is going to represent PNC. Come we have not heard anything from you. So, 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 so that is why I'm saying, nice that is why I'm saying that, you see, they have taken the lead. There's always, uh, you can take the start. But when we are coming, we are coming with some energy. Has mm. Bernard Mona, with... Mona taken up that mantle now? Sure, he's contesting. Oh, is it? He's contesting. As the presidential candidate? Yes, of for course. For PNC? Sure. And very I soon, see. he will come out with his policy. We have got five months. <laughs> you don't have a problem. We don't have a problem. You see, I, I believe that we waste our time doing campaign in this country too much. Mm. When we vote, after 7 January, then campaign starts again. Mm. Left me alone. When it's about three months to election, let's kick start with the campaign proper. Then that is where we can big pinpoint what this person has done, what this person is capable of doing. Not the usual talking, 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 and at the end of the day, nothing comes.